If the printer is connected to an autoloader, remove the printer from the autoloader. Power off the printer. Remove all cables and cords from the back of the printer. Remove the printer from the autoloader and place it on a flat surface near a power outlet. Connect a separate power cord from the back of the printer to a power outlet. Remove the print ribbon. Remove the top cover. Place your hand on the end of the take-up roller near the gear. Firmly grasp the take-up roller, pull up, and remove it from the printer. Lift the supply roller to remove it from the printer. Install the replacement print ribbon. Note that instructions for installing the print ribbon are printed on the inside of the prism printer. Load the supply roller. Slide the replacement print ribbon onto the supply roller. Align the two notches on the cardboard core to the metal pins on the supply roller. Load the take-up roller. Place the new empty cardboard core on the take-up roller. Peel the ribbon leader from the supply ribbon. Hold the supply roller in your right hand. With your left hand, slide the ribbon leader under the ribbon guide. Tape the ribbon leader to the back of the printer tray as shown. Install the supply roller. Insert the supply roller into the grooves on either side of the printer frame. You should hear it click when the roller snaps into place. Be sure to leave some slack in the ribbon leader. Press the operator button to open the printer tray. Remove the tape from the printer tray. Place the take-up roller on top of the ribbon leader as shown. Make sure that the gear is on the correct side. Remove the backing from the adhesive strip. Pull the ribbon leader up and over the cardboard core. Attach the adhesive strip to the cardboard core. The edges of the ribbon leader should be aligned to the edges of the cardboard core. Wrap the ribbon leader once around the roller. Do not roll past the warning marking on the leader. Install the take-up roller. Pull the take-up roller into position above the printer. First, insert the side of the roller without the gear into the groove on the side of the printer frame. Then, insert the gear side of the roller into the groove on the other side of the frame. Press firmly down on the take-up roller until it snaps into place. Do not roll the warning marking on the ribbon leader onto the take-up roller. The marking should not be past the point shown. Prepare the printer for use. Press the operator button to close the printer tray. The ribbon validation process begins. After the ribbon validation process is complete, make sure the ribbon is tight. Install the top cover. If you remove the printer from an autoloader, Replace the printer on the autoloader. Power off the printer. Remove the power cord from the back of the printer. Place the printer on the autoloader. Connect all cables and cords to the back of the printer. Power on the printer. The printer is ready for use.